Hollywood is famous around the world for its glamorous movie stars. Ooh la la. I wonder what a real star thinks about fashion in LA. Why don't we ask actress model Natasha Henstrich? She was in Species in the Whole Nine Yards. I'm sure she'll know all about fashion. I work in the film industry. Everybody cares very, very much about how they're dressed and how they present themselves. And um, uh, I guess showing a sense of creativity and the way they dress and expressing themselves through the way they dress. Or sometimes just taking meetings at big studios and dressing very conservative like everyone else. No, I wouldn't say uh, necessarily that we here in L.A. have a great sense of style. I think that comes a little bit uh, from the fact that we're not much of a melting pot here in L.A. You'd think we were more so, but really it's much more segregated than that. Um, and the areas are really chopped up, and what people do in different areas is very distinct. I lived in New York for six years before I moved out here, and I always think, God, I used to be so cool then. What happened to me? You know, we look like little clones walking around L.A. <laughs> One thing that's somewhat defined to Los Angeles, somewhat, because England has a, a taste of it as well, I think, but um, people here like to think they're rock stars, basically. So they have that rock star thing going. Everybody likes to be a rock star in Los Angeles, you know? All the girls are wearing the super low jeans and the pants and, you know, uh, in their casual wear, they're all in the Adidas running shoes. That's a very LA thing, Adidas running shoes. There are both groups of people, those who express themselves through their fashion and those who are influenced by other people and sort of following the trends. Um, I think there's always been those kind of people. They're the trendsetters and they're their follow the followers, you know, and that says a lot about people, I think, in general. Um, and then there are just people that just don't think about fashion, <laughs> you know what I mean, have that much time to put into it, so they just follow what's sort of happening and, and leave it at that. Um, but I think there are a lot of courageous people that are out there and fashion forward, and, and uh, uh, I wouldn't say I was one of them, but <laughs> I don't think about it that much myself. But <laughs> In Malibu, you see everybody in sort of the Uggs and the the thick boots, you know, and very, very casual sweatpant type things, you know, hanging out, working out, that kind of vibe. And um, more on the west sides here, the west side, Beverly Hills, Westwood, Brentwood, and those areas, um, you get a lot more sophisticates, kind of um, dressed up suits, Armani, that kind of thing, people that are um, maybe a little more in the business aspect or maybe the suit aspect of it. And then you've got Hollywood and Venice where people are far more expressive and um, a little streetier and uh, cool, I guess. <laughs> Santa Monica is somewhere in between Malibu and Venice, you know? It's cool, but it's a little more conservative because people have a little more money maybe who live there, you know? Um, then we have the valley that's just, uh, well, it's the suburbs, let's face it. <laughs> you have a lot of the same shops. It's really not that far from the main heart of the city, you know what I mean? So you do get a lot of um, influence from everywhere, I guess, here. I shop a lot out of town, to be honest with you. I shop in New York, and I shop in Canada and Montreal a lot. Um, but here in Los Angeles, I guess Fred Siegel, a little bit, <laughs> when I want to splurge. Very expensive. Um, Tracy Ross. Uh, then I go from there to like Barney's and then to just your normal average boutique type stores that you just find out and about. Oh boy, best dressed male and female. I guess Matthew McConaughey has an interesting sense of style. Chloe Sevigny, I think she has a very, very cool sense of style. A very original, very like, she has a little bit of the street but with the glamour and sort of in between somewhere. Um, Penelope Cruz, I think, has a good sense of style. Very cla super classic, but I like her sense of style. 